recipe is a melting pot. It's got something for different types of people. So you've got something for the foodies, something for the shopaholics, something for the nature lovers, for the history lovers. It's got something for every type of person. It was my first time to see Taipei 101 that way. I just feel like I'm so connected to the weather that I didn't feel gloomy but I just felt this calm or like this quiet come over me and when I went near the windows I didn't really expect to see much but to my surprise I still saw like the structures around it, the lights coming from the streets and in a way it was still so beautiful but in a different sort of way you know you just have to be in a different perspective. I really love Taipei's night market so I'm so happy I was able to visit Xilin Market which is the biggest night market here in Taipei. I love that it's got a mix of everything like the food, the shopping, I was able to try the beef wagyu and the pepper bun. Everything was so so good. This is a muncher's paradise. I really love Jufen as well. I felt like I was transported to a different time with all the red lanterns all over the streets and coupled with the gloomy weather it was just it made it even more dramatic i love milk tea i don't know what they have here in taiwanese milk teas but their milk teas are so good but i feel like i'm on the minority side though because i like being able to taste more of the tea than the sugar so we also got to try this tea at this really really old establishment i think it's more than 100 years old already so we were able to see how the old tea rooms looked like and how they would normally like serve the tea which for me it was just it was such an amazing experience it just made me appreciate tea even more before getting married we've always dreamt of traveling the world together without any worries and this time that we're finally married it's just this is our way of enjoying each other and getting to know each other. So this is our way of just enjoying our time together while at the same time learning about a new culture and exploring different places. So where we were at Shifen, we went to the old railroad tracks where there's a bunch of stores selling lanterns. So we went to one and bought a lantern where we can write down our wishes on the lantern. So it depends on what color you get. For us, we got yellow, which is for wealth and success. It just felt kind of symbolic to see our lantern soar up high with all our wishes there because it also made us feel like that's how we want our businesses to soar like, that high as well. I feel like in this day and age, there are so many different travel websites. You don't even know if these websites are legit. But with Traveloka, you know that everything's legit. All the prices are legit. You can easily compare prices between the different airlines, different hotels, different suppliers. So it makes it so much easier for you and cuts down the time for you when it comes to like doing your research and getting the best deal. The things that I learned from traveling around Taipei is that number one, you have to bring an umbrella because it can be a rainy city, especially when you come during the rainy season, which is around June. And number two, bring cash with you all the time because especially when you hit the night markets, a lot of the stores don't really accept credit cards. And three, you can easily travel around Taipei with the MTR here. So don't be afraid to go there, explore. It's very easy to understand and it's quite affordable too. Taipei never disappoints. It's a melting pot, which is why I feel like every time I'm here, it's always a different experience for me. And they're all good experiences. And I keep making good memories here. And even though I've been here multiple times, I still see myself coming back in the future.